Hi, this is MUS 226, homework number 9. We'll begin with the Hal Leonard book on page 26. Today we're going to learn about sharps. A sharp, which looks like a number sign, tells you to play the note one fret higher on the neck. For instance, say you're playing an F note and you want to play an F sharp, the second fret is played with the second finger like that. F natural, F sharp. You can also do that on the fourth string with the third finger, F natural, F sharp, played with the pinky, and on the sixth string, F natural, F sharp. Notice that when you read the note on the staff, the sharp comes before the note, but when you say it, it comes after the letter, F sharp. Number 57 should be played as four separate exercises, repeating each one many times. The first one goes like this, E, F sharp, G, also F sharp. Now the reason the fourth note is also F sharp, even though there's not a sharp next to it, is because of the rule that says if a note is sharped within a measure, it stays sharp for that whole measure and doesn't change until the next measure. So, so here's number 57. One, two, three, four. E, F sharp, G, F sharp again. Just keep repeating it. Good. The next one right after that is going to be D open, E second finger, and stretch the F sharp with the pinky, and then back to the E. One, two, three, four. If you can, try to keep the second finger down as you stretch the pinky. Keep it down. The next one starts on the open G, goes to the pinky F sharp, back to the open G, and up to an A. G, F sharp, G, A. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you play that F sharp with your pinky note. The last one in that exercise, number 57, starts on the open E string, goes to the second fret F sharp, G, and then also F sharp. Because of the rule, if a note is sharped in a measure, it stays sharp. And you can read about that underneath the paragraph where it says F sharp. You should also know that the distance of the frets are called whole steps and half steps. When you move only one fret, it's called a half step. When you move two frets, like from F to G, it's called a whole step. On the next page, we have key signatures. Now, when you have a key signature, you don't have to put a sharp in every measure. It goes right between the treble clef and the time signature, right in the middle, as you can see in number 59, Shenandoah. That means that all the F's are sharped in the piece, no matter on what line or space of the treble clef the F is on, it's going to be an F sharp. Our assignment is to play spy riff on number 60, and it's going to be all the low strings. The arrows are put there to remind you to play those F's as sharp because they're in the key signature as F sharp. Here's number 60, spy riff. Make sure you play the F sharp with your second finger. One, two, three, four.
So it sounds like a little spy song by Riff, like a James Bond song. Please record that, send it in. Thank you.